This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. This is our 101st episode. But we're gonna I'm working on the graphic. We're gonna act like it's our hundredth episode because that would be so great. Because then I wouldn't have been wrong a few minutes ago when I said this was our ninety ninth episode. <laughs> so hundredth episode, woo! This is our hundredth episode, and this is when we're gonna celebrate our hundredth episode. But before we have any more celebrating, I'm going to get to our guests. Our guest is the band No Kind of Writer, and currently on the couch, I am joined by Wes and John. Hello. And, and I think Dr. Normal forgot to turn their microphones on. That's a good point, but he turned their cameras on, so uh, <laughs> they're there. Can we do it? Wes and John. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> we have a microphone and a camera now. Okay, so tell us a little bit about uh, the band and how it was formed and where it was formed and how it came to Portland. I'll let you kind of start that off, John. Okay, well... um, Basically, we're based out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, where we're, we were at one point, and um, I was living in another city and playing in another band, and I, I moved back to Tulsa, and um, I was looking for some guys to play with, and I knew these guys from high school, and we came across each other on the internet, of all places, which is so hard to believe. So you, you knew <laughs> each other from high school internet. in Tulsa? Yeah, we, we oh, went wow. to high school together. Wow. We, we didn't really know each other that well. We didn't hang out or anything too much, but we knew each other, and uh, they were like, yeah, let's, you want to play? We're looking for a drummer, and I'm the drummer, and so I brought my drums over one night, and the, the first night we instantly knew that we were into what had just happened, and that was back in early 2006 and we've been doing our thing since then and we all are very satisfied creatively and and happy so <laughs> that's very low even, even though i don't seem very happy right now i'm sorry i'm I was kind just of... gonna say you look happy <laughs> yeah. well you can't tell usually by my face but I'm... you know it's the drummer thing though he's a drummer too and he says things like that we mesh well we play well together. Well, the thing is, I'm very happy and satisfied. I'm either a zero, I'm either a zero or a ten. Okay, you don't want me to be a ten right now, so I'm going to keep it as no, zero. No, no, there's not enough room. I mean, too many people if you're in here bringing right now. alcohol uh, to the thing, like I mean, what, I could, I could mix another. Things batch. will start breaking yeah. soon. If I might you don't have stop to. Feeding me. <clears throat> okay, we'll get out the snack mix, and I'll make another batch of tiki drinks. Okay. okay. Wes, what do you do? Um, I play the bass guitar in the band, and. Um, occasionally I, uh, what else do I do? <laughs> oh, he, that's a bunch. He, makes sure that we he helps book shows. shows. Yeah, that's right. I book shows. Uh, Normally, it's very uh, important. You do the important stuff he that no one else wants to do. Exactly. He argues a lot, too. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not that we don't want to book shows. None of us have the mental capacity to do it. <laughs> he's the only one that can. He's the only one that can yeah. use the internet. Yeah. No one else yeah. Well, if he's the only one that can use the internet, then how did you find each other again? Uh, that makes well, sense. I actually, when I was trying to check my email, I had my mother help me. <laughs> that was the only way it really... Yeah. I, I was yeah. going to say, this doesn't look good for Sam right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sam, oh how God. did you get that job? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna segue for a moment and say this is the celebration of our hundredth episode. Congratulations! Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And because of that, yeah. Troy and Julie <clears throat> brought us a hundredth episode cake. Yay, cake! And in, cake. in a few minutes, that cake is going to be wheeled in. It's ginormous, and um, we're going to have. Um, Are we, do we get to do cake or death? <laughs> <laughs> you said death. We could do a quick round of death. cake or death, but yeah, I think exactly. it would be pretty easy. Cake yeah. or death. Tea and cake or death. Tea and cake or death. <laughs> um, and and while we um, while we work on that beautiful cake, we're going to listen to the first of three songs that they brought for us to to listen to this evening, <clears throat> and it's called Clear Coat. And this is the uh, first track on the uh, CD, I believe. Correct, guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, let's take a listen to that. Um, let me cue it up. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't give him enough warning. Now, now we make small talk while he tries to find it oh, and queue it up. Well, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> because I assumed that it was queued up. Well, you know, the weather was really nice, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, look, we can stop making small talk and have cake. And here it is. <laughs> Everybody listen to Clear Coat. So just as a little side note to this song, uh, this was one of the rare occasions where um, the songwriting process was just, it just came together almost immediately. And yeah, it, pretty much like this since the first time uh, we yeah, played the, it, like we didn't know what to do at this point and then it just happened. And I mean, some sometimes you work on songs for for weeks and weeks and weeks before mm-hmm. you have them at exactly how you want them. This one, literally, the structuring and and the basic idea was down within like a day. So this is kind of the act two of this, like kind of act one, act two. Yeah. Play. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, yeah you'll see Joe, Joe soon enough. <laughs> He's the sex appeal of the band. <laughs> well, his musical couch. Was this, this like one of those things room. that like you... nothing funny about that? You were trying different things, and then you just dropped it down to your basic elements. It and was just, just let it go. a genuine, like, just us just messing around and coming together in a really good way. And uh, so, anyway, yeah, we can listen to the rest. But cool, it's got a good feel.
So when was that song recorded? That was um, 2008, around late winter, early spring. Mm -hmm. We recorded in the studio uh, in Tulsa, and yeah, so that is technically an older song, and we're about to be recording. Um, what what are you doing? What is this? <laughs> Take deal? hand signals. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell. What you need more frosting or something? What's yeah. The deal? <laughs> I, I completely forgot, you know, there's a camera going on. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, like yeah. This is what happens when Ignore we... Ignore that gesture. It didn't mean anything. <laughs> How bad was the gesture? I should have been on close-up on these guys. <laughs> it was fine. You, you know, there was once that I actually, like, threw paper at his head <laughs> on air. So you're fine. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. It's all good. Um, and it was that part of an album you recorded in a studio. What's the album? It's like an EP. It's just a, what was it, the Black Swan EP? Yeah. At the time. It hasn't been released. We're about to release it next week. Yeah. Mm. So. It hasn't officially been released yet. Yeah, we're we're act we're actively working on that and uh, trying to just we're nailing down the artwork. Right yeah, now. getting the artwork down, and uh, so that song will be on what will be called the Black Swan EP, and we are also currently working on recording a new batch of songs that are are newer. That have not ever been recorded, and we are really looking forward to getting it, getting that out there and being able to get that into people's hands. And we don't have a, a date or a or it a hands. final title. <laughs> well, you you will have a CD <laughs> in one or two of those hands at some point in I've the near future. I've taken one hand, so hope. okay. Well, so yeah. Should we should we play musical couch now? I let's, think so. Let's play musical couch. Okay. It was really great to talk to you, Wes and mm. John. Thanks for having us. We Thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, thanks for coming by. No problem. Also, we we don't exclude people without hands. <laughs> anybody? Well, we actually know somebody, Joe. Every, anybody Joe's can a, have a CD. Yeah, no yes. Hands. Okay. <laughs> okay. There will be no breaking. I've been warned about you. No breaking of the cheeky mugs. <laughs> and you guys even sat down in the right order. Thank you. <laughs> we were discussing earlier my um, <clears throat> inability to retain names for long periods of time mm -hmm. or you know, five minutes. The one thing I do want to point out is at the beginning of After Hours, it said guest uh, Troy Holland Hall and Sam Alexander. So. I made you, <laughs> I made you a... No, 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 that's, that's fine. I made that's you fine. one that said so, no kind of writer. So, mm -hmm. With oh. all their names. Yeah, that was the After Hours intro, though. Well, Never mind. Whatever. It's, it's fine. It's all good. It's I don't know what to tell good. you. good. You're eating cake. I am eating cake. So who do we have on the couch right now? Jeremy and Joe. Right? Yes. 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 Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, his surname is Tucker, actually, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> well, forgot? <laughs> well, it's actually like his... That's good. I like people that can forget their own names because... It's like his split personality, actually. It makes me feel better if I forget somebody's names. Okay, what do you guys do in the band? I play keyboard synth. And I play guitar and sing sometimes. And I was just told that you're the sex appeal of the band. Yeah. Um, Do you purse your lips a lot? <laughs> um, you're supposed to purse yes. your lips and, Before then, you and then answer. Oh. Uh, purse and then answer. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yes, I'm like. There's an awful lot of coaching going on. Yeah. He has to have one and a half beers before he starts so getting go. sexy. Yeah. A tiki drink is like way more than one and a half beers. Yeah. So he's he's in full mode sexy. Yeah, this is as sexy as I get actually. <laughs> There's no lip for I know it's if disappointing. If anything, you're retracting. You're like. It's very subtle, imp imperceptible sexy. It's an acquired taste. So why don't you? For our audio listeners, Jeremy is looking sexy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. In a non-committal man kind of way. <laughs> he just doesn't care, so it's all good. That's sexy. So yeah. why did you guys decide to move to Portland? Um, we actually, uh, none of us were planning on doing anything like that. Sam's company, who I guess uh, you guys have already heard about. Uh, Vidoop. Vidoop. We they, just like to say it. You can say it. It's fun. It is fun. Vidoop. Yeah. Vidoop. Vidoop. <laughs> <laughs> we have a helmet that says Vidoop on it. Seriously? Yeah. We do. Awesome. I, well, yeah, Dr. Normal altered it. Okay, I'm sorry. Why, why did you guys decide well, to move when Sam moved? So their company was moving up, and we were like, well, you know, what are we going to do about this? Uh, when actually the uh, president of their company, uh, Luke Sontag, suggested he, he's a fan of the music, and uh, 
Oh, cool, wow. cool guy, and suggested Very that cool. we all move up with them. Wow. So I actually um, got to basically, I, you kind of heard part of the story, but yeah, I got to basically come up with the rest of the company during their organ trail. And and, yeah. and unlike what What's funny was about said, what I'm saying? I'm laughing because Jeremy looks like a little kid right now. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a little kid that knows he's about to get a present but hasn't received it. <laughs> Cake so, so the other four of us, we all, you know, Sorry. had very successful careers in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. uh, Wes was an anthropologist, and Jeremy was a pediatrician. Yeah. And, and John worked uh, in real estate, and I was a ranch hand. <laughs> <laughs> and so, we. Uh, so you're the we, serious one. Yeah. Okay. So we we gave all that up to uh, to come to Portland, and you know. Try a new life. And there's no ranch hand opportunities here? Well, now we're um, all in debt. So yeah. yeah. We made the wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get back. Yeah. I can't afford to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I own the, shark, we're, we're the sharks. A lot of money here. We're currently taking donations for new headphones and um, one-way tickets to Tulsa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't want Ouch. you guys to leave. You guys said you wanted. No, to we leave. we love being yeah. here. Um, that one's great. So. I was very enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's my highest no. level of enthusiasm. <laughs> no, that was really excited. I've never yeah. seen him that excited before. <laughs> it's crazy. Is is Portland a good place to to be to with your music and your band? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. There's a lot more opportunities here than there were in Tulsa as far as playing places and just people who appreciate music and is like it, to come out. Is it the type of music? That we play? Yes, that people I can like. imagine it would be much more popular here than it would be in Tulsa. But I don't know what you about say Tulsa. About so. Exactly. Because I like that music and I live here. Okay. <laughs> True. And it's all about me. Yeah. Duh. I'm sure people in Tulsa like the music too. And we're sad to see them go, probably. No, I mean, yes, we have some fans in <laughs> there's, Tulsa. There's a lot of coaching going on in Tulsa. <laughs> we miss Sam them. is a stage mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no. Sam. <laughs> But talk? Oh, okay, oh. right. But comparatively, I mean, you have... Comparatively, players. like, I mean, Tulsa, we had some great fans. We, uh, there's some good bands there that we were good friends with. Um, like, a really good, cool music scene going on there, but on a very small scale. Mm -hmm. And not nearly the opportunities that there are here in Portland. Mm -hmm. I mean, Portland, you have so many more people who are so open to so many different kinds of things here. And, you know, there's just, there's more opportunities and... It's just a better city. It's just more fun here, too. But, <laughs> you know. Portland. Joe, Joe is never going to be able to go back home. Yeah. You know that. Portland is more fun. I don't know Portland. anyone who can use the internet in Tulsa. So <laughs> it'll be fine. You're so screwed, man. He, yeah, he says <laughs> as the dupe was established. <laughs> That's why it's important. Um, um, how often do you guys play live? Um, oh. we, we've been playing a, a lot since we got here. We probably played 10, 12 shows, something like that. Yeah. We've slowed down over the past month. We've been mm -hmm. working on recording, and we're trying to get that done so we can, you know, have something. We, we want to start getting back out there again a lot this summer. Hopefully... We have a show on Thursday. We have a show on Thursday at the Red Room yeah. on 82nd and Homicide. <laughs> and uh, is that, is that, that's probably not a good plug for our show. <laughs> No, no, no. Say something nice now it to catch the It means off you've guard. lived here for a while. I think it's very nice. No, the Red Room is a very cool place. Mm -hmm. um, what time? What time? Anybody? Wes? No, I think it's 10. Let me ask our booking 10, agent. Um, but um, we, we go on, like, second to last, which is, like, kind of the sweet. But you should come early because there's going to be a lot of good bands yeah, there. Will they have Punch and Pie? Yes, there will be Punch <laughs> and Pie. And more people will there come. Won't be any, there won't be any lovely mugs like this, but... Thank you. Yeah. Well, that, that's, that's that's Flame Man Chew that you have there. <laughs> awesome. He, he has a name. Yeah, no, not all of them have names, but that one has a name. Just this one? No, no, that one has a name. This one's okay. name is Steve. <laughs> I named him that. They all that have a name. I don't, yeah, I he, mine, has an, mine has an ass, though. <laughs> <laughs> Flame Man Chew oh does not. Uh, yeah. Does he has a cooler name, Oh, though, look, see, he doesn't have a name, but he has an ass. Sweet. <laughs> oh, no, he... 
either the guy that made him's name is Danny G or that mug's name is Danny G. I'm not uh, sure. Audio <laughs> listeners, Kami Kiyos is looking at tiki mug asses. <laughs> Several of our tiki mugs have asses. Yeah. So what other venues do you guys play at? I mean, what, what are popular? Um, Since we've been here, we played uh, Ron Street. Tom's. Mm. Oh, Ron Tom's. Very Ron nice. Tom's and Ash Street. We love Ron Tom's. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Ron Tom's, Ron Tom's, Tom's is good. Yeah. Best cheeseburger in town is at Ron Tom's. <laughs> True. Yes. If you think I'm wrong about that, then you're wrong. Give, that a, <laughs> give a shout out to Jason for that. Oh, yeah. We just played Rotura recently. Rotura, it's a great venue. We just played White Eagle Pub and uh, White, White Eagle. Eagle? Yeah. Oh, that's a classical mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. establishment. We played our first show. Yeah. Our first show was at Backspace, actually. Mm-hmm. Were you guys Kelly's playing? Yeah. The yeah. I was just thinking that. <laughs> you guys weren't playing the night that there was a party upstairs at the Duke, were you? <laughs> no. And we were trying we to do a show. There was a really, hit really hit loud hit. band yeah. one night when we were trying to do a show. Yeah, that was <laughs> us. <laughs> All right. No. I'm going to look. I remember ping pong balls from that evening. Mm-hmm. I was there. Oh, were you? Norris. The ping pong You looked familiar. Yeah, the ping pong gun. Yeah. yeah. We were shooting people from the show. Mm-hmm. It was good times. <laughs> that was actually my birthday. And so I like, Happy tried, birthday to, I tried to commandeer the From Cyborg party. Camp. Yes. Nice. Okay, yes. I remember that. Yeah. yeah, were you there too? You yeah. guys were all there. Oh, nice. Yes, I had, the, I had the chair and I was shooting people with the ping pong gun. <laughs> and yeah. um, people kept taking my ammo away. And then Dr. Normal said I shouldn't shoot people when I was on the air. Mm-hmm. We didn't get as much of that at bar camp last week, did we? No, th- I was really sad. We were but at Will bar camp. Norris was not at bar camp. Will Norris weekend. wasn't at bar camp. Maybe he would have brought the ping pong. But we in. did have um, Dom from Odeo Twitter. We're getting off track. Yeah. We we can either talk about the band or we can talk about what you got at uh, talk about at bar camp last week. Oh, that sounds episodes. more interesting. Let's go with this. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's go with. There that. was a thing that you got that I was not privy to. No one would tell me, and I was too sick to pry it um, out of you. So so last week we did uh, bar camp, and Saturday Kelly and I got Kelly, roped oh, into. We have, we have three members of our studio audience this evening. Let's say hello to. Oh, do Verso. we have to? Everything's messed up tonight. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna introduce them. You don't. Hey, it's man. it's Verso, Morgan, and Julie. Let me try to. Get them. There they are. Yeah. In the dark. Kelly, turn the Wave, light on. Wave everybody. Where? It's on the wall. Hello. See, Tori knows where it is. It's the oh, first there they time are, and they're here. still in the dark. They're just backlighted. <laughs> 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 nice work. Very fun. Okay. And and so. Uh, Our small contingent of people that we squeezed yeah, in. Back so to the show. Mike um, and Kelly won something. Yeah, we won. We won um, something. Mm-hmm. I should actually be on camera at some point. Otherwise, they're like, "Wait, wait, wait!" Oh wait, he has to put on his lady yes. sunglasses so yeah. that he can be on yeah. camera. All right. Nice. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to point out to you to go get the thing, which should be behind there, right? Oh, what did no, Kelly? Do you want to tell them, tell the folks what we did? Can you the mic? What we did? Uh, just oh, like, you can just detach that. it. Yeah. Do I get to get something Abomination now? of nature. Hang on. <laughs> Is it behind me? Can I get it yet? Hang on, hang on. Okay, okay so... Since since okay. last Saturday, there's, there's been there. something in my house, and I know it's oh, here, crap. but I don't know what it is. Okay. I can't tell, so I'm not sure. Uh, what we did at Bar Camp well was we were involved in something called the Pitch Off, and so everybody was given off. a random item, uh, some more random than others, and then... Crazy crap. Yeah, given... Uh, a short amount of time, I believe we had about 10 minutes, and we had to pitch it to the VCs, or the rest of the people in the room listening to us make complete idiots out of ourselves, including a panel of three judges. So it was sort of like Who VC Idol judges? at the same time. Uh, one of the judges was Eva, mm. and one of the judges was Betsy, mm. and one of the judges was Tarosi. And since some there were three of them, tough bitches. Yeah, <laughs> and Tarosi. Um, <laughs> I was talking about Tarosi. <laughs> Actually, he was the least tough, the least tough of the bitches because yeah, they I decided he was Paula softy. of the American <laughs> Idol judges. I and don't, so I don't understand. I don't okay. watch that show. No matter who was pitching, he said they had great energy and he really liked their outfits and things like that. So yeah. what, what were you wearing? Uh, well, the way it worked was you had to vote. We, everybody was given these little erasers, and so you had to vote like it was money. And they would pass the hat, and whoever won the most money and whoever did the best with the judges, um, there were two separate prizes for that. This is very involved. Let's I know. get to the part where there's a prize that I don't <laughs> okay, know. Okay, well, so what were, prize did you get, Kelly? There were two prizes given. 
Uh, the first prize was um, a two foot by three foot Star Wars trilogy puzzle, which I found out later was bought in a shameless bid to make sure I entered so that there would at least be somebody in the contest. Okay. And the other prize is a major award. Is a major award. And let's go. It. And it's behind Cammy. Don't don't fill me while I award, do it. Kids. So let's go over yeah. here. Oh, I in the ass. <laughs> yeah, because we've never seen Cammy's ass on Strange Love Live. Are there two things I'm supposed to Anywhere be getting? Because there's oh, something no. creepy back here. Oh, the creepy thing is actually what is actually the contents we, of the box. Yeah, the creepy thing is. Uh, just go ahead and go with that. Let's. Am I supposed to get this? The show's over. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's this? That sit down and we'll 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 show you what that is. Okay. Hold That's, on, I gotta get the other one. There's two. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> it really does work better if there's two. Okay. Trust me. Because <sighs> like like this, it looks dirtier. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait to see what the chat room is saying about this. <laughs> shot. Okay, so that is our pitch right there. Oh my. God. What you've got? Oh, this is spare hair. <laughs> yes. I thought it was. That, ladies and gentlemen. Is spare ball air, and what's even what's okay. even funnier about that is, uh, like a day or like two ago, like this and... if you go up and Google spare air, there's actually a company named Spare Air that makes spare air tanks <laughs> for emergency, uh, like if you get in trouble. <clears throat> which just shows that our technology does in fact scale. Exactly. <laughs> nice. There's bubble wrap in here. I and wish Amber Case was here. A major award. If Amber Case was here, she and I would stomp on it until the security guard tune. got really frustrated with us. Maybe we should. Well, I think we're going to play another okay. tune in just a moment. I think the band's fallen asleep. They're <laughs> 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 yeah, we, we have stomp parties. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> stomp we parties. normally go to sleep at nine, so. Yeah. I like to go to sleep early. <laughs> so there you are. Um, this is our and major award. Everyone was very excited that we won that award and wanted to see that in the Strange Love Live. Uh, studios. Is it We're very yeah. excited. It is. Nice. It is described as Art Deco vase. Which, Excellent. You know, face, 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 face. Oh, face, 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 yeah. face, face. <laughs> it's beautiful. It looks like a see. shoe. <laughs> sort okay. of. Kind of. Or an odd spotted farewell was the other description. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should get so back happy to the band. Episode. Yes, let's get back to the band, please. Should we should we discuss more bandy things, <laughs> or should we play another song? Can the band? Don't you love? Uh, really, I should be more technical. I married a musician, but I'm not. <laughs> Bandy. I didn't want to marry a musician. He Nobody just, does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for understanding that. Thank you for understanding. What are some of you guys married in the band here? I mean, I don't know. I, I cried. We're I all cried. asexual musicians. <laughs> <laughs> You've all given up. So you've all become Morrissey? Prince is an asexual. He's just kind of icky. And <laughs> Prince is going strong, my friends. Believe me. Prince is one of our main influences. influences. <laughs> Father figures. <laughs> Father figures. <laughs> Detractors. He <laughs> hates, uh, he, Prince hates our music. Yeah. <laughs> but we love his music. Yeah. It's a love hate. He hates us and. Love him. Okay, are you ready? Do you, do I, I need to make small talk? Or are you no, just I, can, cute? I can do this. I can do this. What are we gonna listen the, to? They next affectionately track two? refer to it as Jimmy, but it's a new friend for Jimmy. And while this plays, I think I'll make some more tiki drinks. What is this song about, Sam? Finding someone who shares your love for uh, Harry Potter. There you go. No, that's not right. Okay, <laughs> I was all that. It's like Harry Potter. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>
and we're back. I, I unfortunately missed that song because I went upstairs to replenish our tiki juice. You didn't miss anything. Uh, believe me. Well, I've listened it to was, it actually. Uh, it was a very cool ending. Uh, I like that thanks. ending. Um, it had drums in it. That's we, what made it extra special cool. I guess there's. Uh, we sort of. That one was sort of improv in the studio. When John played that ending, we were like, what are you doing? <laughs> they almost kicked me out of the band when I did that. And I was well, like, screw you guys. I'm going to do whatever the crazy heck I thing. Stupid drummers. We actually did kick him out of the band, but he, <laughs> yeah. he never heard about it. So oh. he's been playing for free. He was, he was absent for that meeting? Yeah. We're all, okay. we're all horrible communicators. Like, they just, the memo was never passed along. Yeah. And I just forgot. They were all too lazy to really care about having the proper outcome so i'm still here <laughs> yeah this is the awkward part of the show where i try to pour the drink nothing awkward about it <laughs> and which part of the show isn't awkward yeah that's true and we i love the, intro. the and, ice. and i'm gonna go to that's so nice. we're gonna listen to some song. more music uh, mm -hmm. um which is our um if i go find the damn thing and we're gonna talk drinks because that's what we do mm. and i also learned today that Steve, this my Tiki Mug's name is Steve. Mm. He's the one Tiki Mug I should never use on the show because he has earrings and they jingle too much. Here we go. <laughs> I think this is the right version. I'm going to call this one Mr. Miyagi. Who do you have? <laughs> Mr. Miyagi. Let's see. Well, I just want to make sure he doesn't. All right, you know, he doesn't have a name already. Okay, well. Okay. Do you need you a little bit more? I don't know how much I filled. I had an ice blockage with If you. that's Mr. Miyagi, this should be Daniel's son. Okay, so we need to make sure we need to put tape on the bottom of them so that we can make sure we remember these names. Yes. Or the third one with Natalie Portman. <laughs> wasn't that Natalie Portman? It wasn't Natalie Portman. It was, um, oh, um. Hillary Swank. Yeah, Hillary Swank. And I, I can only agree with you because I always. First off, that was not the third that one, that was the fourth one. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, I'll watch them again with you. Okay. okay. This is the drink music. There's a movie called The Karate Dog. And it has, oh, God. It has Pat Marina in it. Is it related to Firehouse Dog? Robert because Simon. I heard I that was so. a really great film that came out last year. But it is a shit-ass film. It is just not. Were you excited about coming here and talking about kids and family <laughs> movies tonight? Yes. We looked forward to it. Home Alone 3 is... Uh... Okay. I think he wants me to do the drink music. These are tiki drinks. That's right. This what, evening, what tiki drinks contain cran cherry juice, pineapple juice, orange juice, uh, dark cruisin rum, Damn. and coconut rum, and pineapple rum. Oh, and be before you say anything. Oh, and raspberry rum. I responded to a tweet by Jeff McPherson, otherwise known as Dr. Tiki of Tiki Bar yes. TV, who said, if you want me to record a little <clears throat> intro for you, mm -hmm. send me an email. And I sent him an email. So we do tiki drinks every week. I mean, we do. Dr. Tiki should definitely do like a little uh, intro he should. for if Strange Up Live. you guys ever that seen sounds... Tiki Bar TV? That's right. It's a I've podcast. Anna, it's a good so. one. It's, it's a good one. During my tiki phase. Highly recommended. This second batch of tiki drinks, I apologize for. It's not as Did good as suck? the first. I'm well, officially it's offended. It's not Does as it good. suck? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's not <laughs> it's as good. I, I, I didn't have as... An, I, didn't, <laughs> I was low on the raspberry juice. Oh, really? So there's more pineapple, and I was out of oh, orange pineapple's juice. Pineapple's always good. So it's a little bit of cran raspberry juice and a lot of pineapple juice. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to, I'm going to, okay, so the, our studio audience people out here are all drinking the sucky tiki drink. Is that correct? <laughs> sucky tiki. Well, the first tiki drink was better. No, it's very good. Is it okay? Is it still tasty? Yes. Yeah, okay. No, it's very tasty. Does anyone want to know what I'm drinking I for a hundredth episode? I can't feel my legs right now. Yay! You can't feel your legs. <laughs> Success. I have a band story I'm... about not feeling my legs. And no, is that the bathtub groupie. one? Yeah. And no, don't tell well, that one. Well, it ended up in the bathtub. Don't tell that one. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is she was like six two with her hairdo, and uh, this is back in the eighties. Never mind. <laughs> um, he was six four with his hairdo, and he's you know well under six foot. Tonight, so that should tell you something. I'm drinking. So there was like twenty four feet of love making going on in my bathtub. <laughs> and puking. Reams and love reams of love making. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. So oh love making just continued. Oh, yeah. reams is, is like love making what we word. could consider it? No. It was fun though. <laughs> I don't think you consider love days. making while you. As do. carnival rides it, always are fun. It was I like I like you a lot making for the time being. No. Or until the night's it, over. No, it was just in the hallway when she grabbed me, lifted mm. me off my feet, and started. Six foot two. You know, started like. French kissing me. I said, I cannot <clears throat> feel my feet. 
because I drank about uh, a half a case of. Are you sure the woman's generic. name wasn't Rick? Because <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a problem that's, I had. This a just like, yeah, this is like a story. I was lifted off the ground. Rick and, was actually uh, forced to perform various acts of yeah. it's love. It's a drummer thing, right? Uh, it it's is. not a drummer thing, no. <laughs> no, it's not. But I guess it is now. Drum pop! Drummers do get into a lot of trouble. They yeah. Do. So yeah. Rick, if you're out there, <laughs> call him. Call and, and, and to just think, he he couldn't get the stream in his hotel room in Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Rick. Oh yeah, I don't anyway. know if John knows Rick to to know the funniness. Behind but it was that. it was the perfect name, by the way. <laughs> it was excellent. <laughs> it was cheers. Perfect. Rick was it. Cheers, everybody. That was not a made up story. So quickly, awesome. so I can get off camera. <laughs> okay, fine. Tell us what you're drinking. Um, I haven't had this in a long time. I've been dying to have this, and and so I have some uh, single malt scotch, some Oban. Very, very nice. Oban. Haven't had it in a long time. Okay, we get it. You're better than us. <laughs> hey. No, 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 no. Just kidding. No one mixed his drink for him. He just poured it right out of the bottle. Nice. There's no love in that cup. Uh. <laughs> this booze is love. <laughs> it's nurturing and caring and shit. <laughs> it's so good. If I would have oh, known, so I could have been swearing this whole time. I oh, yeah. After so hours many more cuss hours? words. After yeah. hours is all uh, good. Now you can swear. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. My drink is so Scottish, of course. <laughs> Oh, that was terrible. Okay, no, 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 no impressions for you. All right, please. We're done with the tiki oh, thing. Are we gonna have a bad impressions contest? Yeah. Oh, we can have an impressions contest as long as he stops wow. and <laughs> doesn't do Sean Connery. Yeah, again. I was trying to do Sean Connery. It was terrible. Oh, no, no. I am the last one. There we see. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you have just been schooled, uh, Doctor Normal. No, no, no. That's the only part I can do. <laughs> that was enough. Was from La or Dragonheart? It was incredibly identifiable. You want to do that again? Again. All right. Sam Alexander. I said be quiet. Okay. Look. Chuck Todd. What to do? Shunk. How many times have you done that one impression? Just find a new one. It's a keeper. Find a new one. Okay. You leave Doctor Normal alone. Okay, Sam. He's doing a damn good job. <laughs> you will rue the day you messed the, with me, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, oh the, that was the Sean Connery you know, yes. on Saturday Night Live. It wasn't the audio. I mean, it was looking at the video, the close-up of you clinching your teeth <laughs> as you did that. It was wonderful. You guys got to experience that for the first time along with the rest of the band, because I've never seen him do that. Yeah. And quite frankly, I'm starting to have second thoughts. Well, this is a new talent. Wait till I get, freaky. When I perfect my Samuel L. Jackson, I'm out of the band. <laughs> You'll I'm never done. be able to. I don't need, I don't need it. Anymore. I don't know. Mm. You know, yeah. last week we had a Christopher <laughs> Walken doing Sam Come Jackson on. doing Snakes on a Plane. Oh, you got snakes, you got planes, work it out. <laughs> um, uh, that's the one Sam Jackson movie I will never see. We gotta get these motherfucking snakes <laughs> on this <laughs> motherfucking plane! <laughs> that's the Samuel that was, Now you try. That was Chris Tucker, though. <laughs> 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 no, Chris Tucker is, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 that was good. That sounded more like MC Chris, actually. <laughs> oh, MC Chris. Oh, oh my. Oh, word. yeah. Let's not act like we don't all yeah. have a impressions thing for the Boba Fett song. Okay. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. I could sing so. most of that song. I'm just gonna spare you all. And show. <laughs> no. You should do your five-year-old with a beard. <laughs> oh, no, come on. Yes, That's you not my impression, first of all. That's the beautiful and talented Zach Galifianakis. Yes. But he's oh, not here. I know. Dude, you have to... And I don't have a beard, so you guys are out of luck. Sad. Not everyone has video, so they don't even know. That's true. Why you, you have to on the spot like that. Like I'll, okay, I'll do the. Um, I'll do the what the shit? Pretentious alliterate if you do the five year old with a beard. <laughs> okay. Oh, please. <laughs> If you right, guys don't is, have video, you missed the amazing eyebrow This is Zach Galifianakis raise. doing an impression. This is me doing an impression of Zach Galifianakis doing an impression of a five-year-old with a beard. I don't like my beard. It hurts. My beard hurts. That's it. <laughs> I have to point out, though, in true five-year-old style, your shoes are not tied. Are they ever tied? 
No. <laughs> That's the mom in me. I'm like, I need to tie your shoes now. Why must you to be learn, little me? <laughs> to learn how to play the drums, you have to give up certain other <laughs> skill sets. Yeah. Like I Dr. Normal's yeah. shoes are tied. Yes. In sixth grade, yeah, but they're always tied. Those are actually slip ons, okay? And the rest <laughs> no, of the guys have Velcro. You're making him so, feel bad. You know. You're making him feel very bad. He was very proud when he learned to slip his feet into the shoe. <laughs> he didn't realize what had happened. There are sli- oh, no, no, no. See, I see laces. No. All slip-ons. Oh All no, slip-ons. I see, I see yeah. slip-ons, but I see laces, and oh. I see more laces. And I think it's just you. These never get untied. Yeah, it's not really. That's my mom tied them once, and that's these... it. Okay. They don't get untied either. He's a no barefoot, actually. What? <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's kind of that's kind of creepy though. If you don't ever take your shoes off. You know, what's well. amazing to me is that there's people that are actually listening to us talk about this. <laughs> and not, not anymore. Yeah. No, no, no. There are. Oh, no. There are, and they're crazy. And we, and, uh, we you're apologize not really in advance. Crazy. Yeah, not you guys, crazy. you guys listening and watching at home, like, please, like, stop drinking cokes and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, <laughs> only gonna get worse. You're not missing out on anything. Okay? <laughs> we have approximately 17 more minutes of random bullshit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be good. I know how to fill uh, 25 more seconds of it. Okay, mm-hmm. go for it. <laughs> With the pretentious, illiterate mm-hmm. impression. <laughs> Can you do go, it? Go, go. I can do it. Okay. I've been working on this. All right. He's really proud of this one. <clears throat> Look, I told you. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's also oh. Zach Galifianakis. So I can't take credit for that one. All right. Well done. Um, that, I was I was gonna say that's not twenty five seconds, but then with all the laughter and shit, <laughs> stretch. That's good. Stretch. Okay, so we're gonna discuss something now, Doctor Normal. Yes. You're just gonna have to suffer, and shush your mouth. Okay, are you ready? Uh, time for I, some scotch. I discovered something. I have a room full of Harry Potter fans. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not a room full. You know what oh, you said? Okay. You said and a room full of Harry. I'm sit with Dr. Normal. You okay. said a room full of Harry, and, and my brain started going in <laughs> the Potter. And I was like, oh, okay. And the Harry and, and the no. Potter and the fans. I have, a, I have a room full of Harry <laughs> Pot smoking fans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, wait, no, what was I saying? It no. is Oregon, after all. You never know. It'd be bearded. <laughs> bearded pot smoking fan. So t- yesterday, my child was homesick, and so we watched uh, we watched several Harry Potter films yesterday because, hello, the new Harry Potter film mm-hmm, is coming out, lucky. and I need to catch myself back up. So lucky. Oh, yeah, it was very good. I was very happy. Cue to the drink music. I didn't get into Harry Potter until I saw Prisoner of Azkaban. That changed my life. Now, did that you was read great. them? Alfonso Cuaron. I I had read the first three uh, a while back, and then when I when I saw Prisoner of Azkaban, it was like, yeah, Alfonso Cuaron directed that movie. And if you if you're not familiar with him, he's a really great director, and you you get your hands on anything he's done. But uh, that sold it for me, mm-hmm. and. Uh, so ever since that that third movie, I've been a big fan, and I think that's fourth, pretty much how it's every the fourth movie. No, no it's, it's the, third. the third. You're right. Don't I'm you sorry. Cross me on no, 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 no. <laughs> I, you're right. You're right. I watched you're them the out wrong of order. To try that. I watched them out of order because yeah, I can't because, do that. Yeah, no, she can't see the fourth one, and so oh, I watched yeah. it when she wasn't around. Oh yeah. Bad mommy. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. Things are only getting harder. <laughs> Let's not. Well, no, no, no. I've watched them all in order, but. I watched them out of order now because mm. she wanted to watch uh, number three, and I didn't want to watch it without her, yeah. but she can't watch number four. Yeah. Why can't she watch too, number four? She's it's seven. Hard. Yeah, it's harsh. The graveyard. It's the Lord Voldemort and it's all the that graveyard. stuff. She can yeah. watch everything up until the graveyard scene, yeah, but the graveyard yeah, scene, my, my mom is like, uh, I'd like to skip yeah, that part. Pretty, pretty it's heavy. too gruesome. First yeah. time I saw it, I wet myself. So. <laughs> yeah, that was a really awkward movie theater experience. there's nothing funny about well, what was weird about it was I was actually sitting on his lap when yeah. that scene when came out. <laughs> no, what was weird about it is that you stayed through the whole movie after. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Ah, Harry funny. Potter and potty jokes. It's all I, I remember having this conversation with Troy about a week ago. This will be really <laughs> exactly. cool. We'll have like um, tech and like the creativity in tech and creativity in music and stuff. And now we're tell- talking about wetting ourselves at Harry Potter movies. <laughs> That's where That's everything awesome. goes. Well, you know what? We're just trying this to be honest and, and be real. This you is, know? This is hey, where, I have a really, this really this fantastic goes, and valid <laughs> question. Do you guys write all your own music? 
We yes. do. Do you ever do covers of stuff? Like, we say, have good question. obscure little um, little jazz tunes that maybe are the <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> are the podcast uh, theme. Because <laughs> so we, we have a tech episode that, that really needs to have the song redone. Our After Hours is awesome. John Nastos and Clay Guyerson. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much about our tech episode. Uh, yeah, no. I feel like this question's leading somewhere. It's leading to a place we don't want to go. <laughs> no. No. No, um, no, it's not. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to... We, we, we can do covers. It's not like we are unable to do them, but we haven't yet. We've thought about but, it. But, you know, if the, cert, if the right person <laughs> asks for the right podcast, oh, mm-hmm. who knows what could happen. We've been waiting for that if the nice drummer Saudi took person. off his lady glasses and batted his eyelashes <laughs> at you. I don't think any of us could, no, uh, that's not gonna happen. could survive that. <laughs> no, we would uh, melt. The like, wind force alone would be yeah. like yeah. unbearable. He does, you know. It's going to be he, 30 minutes of Brokaw. You can't tell because <laughs> he's got the sunglasses on, but he has oh tremendous God. eyelashes. I wish oh, I can tell. eyelashes. It's sad. It's always men that get the good eyelashes. And old men eyebrows that are going <laughs> every direction. I try to trim those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I am oh. really off track now. Um, was there a track? So back up. Where were we? Blah, blah, blah. Art. Um, I was trying tech, to con them blah, 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 blah. into doing the Please new. Please record our song. The new tech edition. Um, intro. Um, mm. You guys are really great. Blah, 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 blah. No, I really, I wouldn't have um, asked them if they sucked. <laughs> That's good to know. If, if you guys do, we were have you guys actually discussed doing a cover? Like some. We have some, yeah, I mean. We, I mean we've what? talked about it, but not seriously enough to actually start it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's easy. It would, you know, we have songs that we play around yeah, and pra- like practice. Oh really? What? Okay. Anytime that I'm playing a song, it, like, after the song ends, it almost always devolves into Franz Ferdinand's "Take Me Out." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somehow. And it, yeah, even if it's our heaviest, like, yeah. darkest, slowest nice. song, nice. he finds a way to start that, and then we can't stop for upwards of two and a half yeah. hours. We're just playing that same opening. <laughs> It and that's all we song, know kids. of it. Yeah, so kids learn that song and you can join any band. You know, yeah. a little secret for the drummer, when I used to play the big heavy metal thing like 25 years ago, anyway, um, uh, I used to sometimes just de- devolve into the country boom chick swing, you know, uh, it would always be like, what the hell are you doing? I don't know, man, this is I, pretty groovy. This is, I, just gotta guitar do player would throw his guitar down. Would that be annoying? It, and know? I can see a hair band yeah, being yeah. upset. Exa- exactly. <laughs> like, is, it, is this annoying you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, this is music, I, I could stop. This is the real stuff. <laughs> you know. It's I mean, like, like, or or play like a it. reggae beat during one of our heaviest tunes. That was always fun, too. Can I put this all on three? <laughs> yeah. Watch the bass player and the. I don't know what play. to do now. Exactly. <laughs> Is this still music? My head hurts. <laughs> yeah. I need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Our manager just sent us a text to mention uh, house parties for, uh, for covers. We have a manager. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's your dad. Tell your dad to quit bothering us. <laughs> just kidding, Mr. Page. I love you. <laughs> uh, fun fact. Oh, uh, hey, good. Okay. Joe's dad was my geometry and uh, algebra one teacher in high school. Yeah. And in he Tulsa. Was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Right. And he was a riot and a half. And, uh, yeah. And how many He's times did you get kicked out of fun that guy. class? Oh, uh, just Every a couple. Day for a year. <laughs> no, that was you, Wes. Oh, yeah. That was you. <laughs> that guy. So you guys all went to high school together? Except for Jeremy. No. Uh, he I'm lived in. Louisiana. Yeah. Louisiana? We don't talk about that. Yeah. 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 We forget about I Louisiana. That was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Tulsa, uh, it's great. It's funny that we all met in Tulsa. Cause we... I, think, I think it's funny that you all, like, the whole band moved. Yeah, that's weird. You know, well, big... It was something we knew. We, we had an opportunity to do it, and it was like we, we had thought about moving, and we didn't really yeah. know what we do, but when this opportunity came up, it was just like we have to do this, and we all knew that we wanted to, and we were all enthusiastic about it. And it was like, so we, there wasn't a question about so it. So aside from Sam, had all of you been to Portland? No. Nope. Some of them came sight unseen. No. So I, yeah. Who hadn't been to Portland? These two. You guys hadn't yeah, been Jeremy to Portland. Jeremy and Wes. And I'd only been to Portland once when I moved here. I think, I think yeah. it's a testament to the music scene here now, yeah. because in Portland, being you know uh, next you know down from Seattle. Mm-hmm. 
kind of in between, you know, San Francisco, and then you've got mm-hmm. the whole West Coast. I'm sorry, thing. we totally kick Seattle's booty. Yeah, but but <laughs> Portland has always had this ebb and flow over yeah. the decades, right? You know, sometimes you have a lot of music going on, a lot of cool things. Like back in the early '80s, there was a lot of cool stuff coming out of Portland, mm-hmm. and then the whole you know everything became that metal scene that was all <laughs> gravitated toward LA. Right. And then after that, it was Seattle. Right. And grunge. And... Yeah, and then that started bleeding down with Kurt Cobain and you know all that down to Portland as well, kind of the right. I five corridor. So it seems like the Portland music scene has gotten really healthy in the last I don't know eight ten years maybe. One, one thing I I love about the Portland music scene is that there isn't a uh, umbrella term for for it um yeah you know there's it's not grunge it's not metal and there's yeah. such a diversity of bands here but like such a high quality of the bands here and i like that there's not like a like you know back when in the heyday of grunge you would hear someone with a certain sound and right. you'd be like oh they they're, they're from seattle yeah you know? oh yeah you and uh, really wouldn't notice it exactly right? uh portland sends so many great bands out of portland and uh you know there's not some kind of cookie cutter thing that you can put these these bands into. They're just great bands, and uh, we knew a lot of Portland bands before we came. Um, I'm a huge fan of uh, Manamana, which yeah. I didn't know where they were from honestly before I yeah Manamana. Manamana. <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> exactly. We just like every ounce of my is being mocked by your shoe, man. Uh, <laughs> he won't tie it. Now he knows that it bothers someone. It's gonna be. Now it's like, yeah. Hey, that, that is rock and roll, man. Yeah. I could sit like this for 30 minutes. He really does have a like, ball, ballerina pose. Like that would this. be a good workout. He is a drummer. You. No, he has the strength. No, I know. I know. It's, it's the, good. It's the kick drum. Uh, Although it's really right? not quite. It's not quite pointed enough for ballet. But okay. <laughs> I'll do this to the end of the show. I don't even care. For those... You don't seem to understand. I have a seven-year-old. Go ahead. I like being compared to that. Yes. <laughs> that's a step. That's the step or so two higher from the two-year-old. Yeah, your patience level to. is up high. My patience so level I could do is just about phenomenal. Do double. <laughs> Remember that whole zero or ten thing? Yeah, yeah I'm getting near ten, so this uh, is a ten. I yeah, just... better give me more <laughs> more alcohol. <laughs> yeah, we don't usually give the seven year old the alcohol, yeah. but you know. Well, you know what? If you want to have a fun night, do it. Yeah. Just... <laughs> hey, there's a parenting idea. Yeah, he's writing a book. So. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. See, I have a better idea. See that that lady with the hair back there? I give up. I, yeah. I just give the seven year old to her mm. for a little while. <laughs> That's fun. And then it's fun. <laughs> it's like, you, you know. You need to go upstairs and <laughs> read so a thousand So, music scene in Portland. <laughs> yes, oh, I'm music sorry. scene. There's so many great bands. Well, but we the had thing about Portland people pointing. is that uh, every, uh, everyone is very aware of just a broad spectrum of music. People are very aware of what's out there, and that's very interesting to, to, meet, to meet people that are just, you know... Uh, who know more than uh, they're, they're they're smart about what they listen to and they listen to it for very specific reasons. But I mean, there there are some people out there that are closed minded, but there's a lot of people that I've met that are very open minded, and you get that feeling in this city in general. And um, it's just it, I it's have exciting. That yeah, it's, it's a nice change of pace. Yeah. Yep. a lot of variety. Yeah, you know, it's not and, just this cookie cutter, this thing. Yeah, right. it's like there's a lot of variety yeah. here in the city. You know, obviously, is a vibrant city and very progressive, but it feels. Uh, one thing I noticed about the city when I first moved here was, it, it feels like a small town in in certain ways. Pe- right. People are the close knittedness kind of. Yeah, uh, and people are genuine about what they're into. You know, right. no matter what, and we, and we really like being here. It's a uh, and, and you know being from a small music scene and it, you you realize that um, every town has its little music scene and. Uh, the few great bands and um that there's this sometimes a community that builds around it in tulsa there's a lot of artists you know filmmakers there's really small close-knit music scene Mm -hmm. and uh but you talk to the average tulsan and they still don't know uh what's going on in the city they they know kelly clarkson and they know you know david cook american idol and uh but they don't know what's happening in their own city 
And uh, Portland's very different where uh, you talk to any random person on the street and they may not know exactly what you're talking about in the music scene, but they know about what's going on in the city, uh, whether it be art or film or, you know, theater or tech, tech, you know, mm -hmm. um, people, people are, everyone is like plugged into something here in Portland. Uh, whereas in a, a lot of other cities, you, you, the average person isn't really aware of the great things happening in their own city. And so it's nice to be in like that scene thing, but it's, as a part of the whole community, right? It's an <clears throat> entire city of a scene. Is there is there like a kind of some cross pollination, some spillover, like where, like the tech scene, the hip, and the music scene, and you know, just kind of a there is. I mean, scene. I uh, it, me, me personally, I'm obviously in the tech and music scenes, and I know some. Uh, uh, I can't remember his name now, but there's uh, every first Monday there's a uh, a, a dork bot where people build right. build mm -hmm. you know sort of robots and lights and they use Arduino circuits yep. and stuff like that. And I was at a show where uh, this dance uh, sort of throwback like disco band they had this incredible light lighting display and uh, I met another guy from the tech scene there and he's like, yeah, I know the guy who built that. He built that at like dork bot. And uh, so this band was using it behind them, and just a local band, and uh, and so there, there's that spillover, you know. And there's like photog. It's a really easy comparison is photographers and musicians have a symbiotic relationship, and you know, but then the photographer spills over into art and and into the text. And then you have like you know bakers scene. and potheads, you know, they go well together. <laughs> yeah, and meth heads uh, and bridge builders work <laughs> really well. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I hope energy. not. Yeah. Well, I, I, it's interesting because, um, I mean, in the past, so far in the past, there'd be v. like experiments like Todd Rundgren and all these kind of weird experiments, but it seems like there's more, it's actually working now, the yeah. tech and the, the music and kind of the whole kind of multi, I don't know. Well, creative people, they, they naturally will be drawn to each other and that's what's exciting yeah. is just mm -hmm. when people actually maintain those relationships. Mm -hmm. And interact whether you're you know a visual artist or, or a musician or a filmmaker or a technologist or, you know or, mm -hmm. or into fashion or into yeah math computers because <laughs> math's very creative yes yeah. yeah. i'm breaking bad it is yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> breaking bad it's a great that show. show that's a great show watch breaking bad on the fx usa fx <clears throat> is it on that? hulu AMC. I don't think it's. If they don't put it on Hulu, I don't. On the internet, I don't watch TV. I make TV. I don't have time to watch TV. If it's not on Hulu, I don't watch it because I got rid of cable. Because cable's the devil. Yeah. Yeah, it's so expensive. No. Unless you have the extreme package, and then it's heavenly. No, no, it's heavenly, but it's still the devil. I miss TiVo so much. Oh, we shouldn't talk about oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> this is getting so Oh, my sad. gosh. Oh, I, I think we've been on the show. I, I, yeah. I, I did want to ask one question. Yeah. Anybody seen the new Star Trek yet? Yes, yes. I saw wait, it wait, this wait. afternoon. Don't yeah. tell us. Yeah, you if you can't... say anything. They go to space. Thank oh. you, John. Yeah. <laughs> They're in space. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I surely not. Back. I have space. to say, though, that 12 hours from right now, Dr. Normal and I will be watching That's the, hope. The, the preview that is in front of By the, the way, Star Trek. Sorry. If you're on Twitter, check out oh. our avatars. Oh wait, I okay. just yeah, Doctor that's true. Normal. Doctor Are you normal, red shirting it? Uh, Cami oh, Chaos yeah. and Verso. We all have Trekified uh, <clears throat> Trekified avatars. Nice. Cami Chaos is the mad skills with the uh, Photoshop. It really doesn't take mad shop. skills to yeah. Doctor an old Star Trek photo, but okay. actually, why? <laughs> because you're wearing that uniform anyway in the old photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we before <laughs> yeah. we go, yeah. oh, before Lord. we go, I just want. To everyone here who's on Twitter, who's on Twitter? Oh, we get no kind of writers on Twitter. No kind of writers Are on they? Twitter. Yes. At, okay. Oh. At no kind. But of you guys writer. aren't on Twitter. And you're on MySpace. You oh, should... you guys have got to get on Twitter, but you guys don't know how to use the internet, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a real problem. Hey, We're on a twelve-step program. The word Twitter okay. scares me. It sounds filthy. It is <laughs> filthy. Oh, it you is. love it. Oh, it, is. Like, it really does. Beautiful and filthy in a, in a beautiful way. So if you want to check out the band, go to MySpace.com/slash No Kind of Writer. Or at no kind of writer on Twitter, even though most of the band doesn't touch the internet because Twitter is filthy. <laughs> That's bold. Um, I got Twitter all over my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm sorry. That, that was I'm blood. Sorry for embarrassing everyone in the room. <laughs> that was blood. It's wait. okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We can clean that up. Can't help it. Your father. Can't
Harry. Okay, look, look, <laughs> Dr. <Dr>. Normal. <laughs> Dr. Normal. Cowbell. I, I think Get his ass. I think, we might have, I think it might be time to oh, say yeah. goodnight and to play one more song. That's right. I think we're going to play one more song. As we temporary. Roll the, song as we temporary. Roll, roll the credits. Um, this is an old one. It's about love. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> Any last words, guys? As we're oh, that sounds very. Thanks for having ominous. us on your show. We appreciate Thank, it. Thanks yeah, for coming on. Yeah, it really on. was an honor to be here. Thanks yeah, for having us. Thank you. Does anyone over here need Thank a microphone? Troy. Anyone have anything to say? Yay, cake! Cake. Yeah, thanks, yeah, cake. Thanks, Chris, thanks Troy cake. and Vadoop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was wonderful to have you guys. I, I really recommend that you guys check out No Kind of Writer. Hopefully you were listening when they played the music. Oh, yeah, so we have a show this Thursday, yeah. at the uh, May 14th at the Red Room the on Red 82nd Room. Street. We hope to see you there. It's a very yeah. nice establishment. I didn't mean that homicide coming. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to anything. Strike that from the transcript. Thanks, guys. Thank you all for joining us. Have a great night.